welcome back to another video. We will be looking through my sketchbook today. This is one of my works in progress, so it's about maybe a halfway there, halfway done. So yeah. Alright, let's check out our first work of art. Oh! <laughs> okay, first up, we have... I think this is one of my first attempts at realistic drawings. I don't think I got very far. The eyes are pretty uneven. I mean... Eh, it looks okay. Um, this is also kind of a video of me judging. Alright. Now, I remember this one. This was for a school project. And... I vaguely remember trying to go very, very detailed on the shading. So here we have a lot of gradients and a lot of mini textures. This is one of my earliest attempts with colored pencils. And I do like color pencils nowadays, but this one, I feel like this is the one that really used up so much of my black colored pencils. So I remember looking up a realistic drawing or picture of Earth, and I was kind of copying that. I don't know what part of the Earth this is, this is. But yeah, there's the moon, and of course, there's the sun. I don't even know if this is a realistic scale, but yeah. Before we go into more depth about this, let's just talk about, for some reason, all of my drawings are portrait. There's like no landscape at all. I don't know why. But yeah, this is one of my most realistic drawings. I'm still proud of it to this day. So this is a donut. And I know it's, it doesn't look all 3D, but like, it's... It's really cool, the sprinkles definitely look 3D, and I really like how it turned out. I wrote a date on this one, this was pretty much a year back, and of course signatures. It's a good memory to keep, because I don't think I'll ever create a better donut, although I have created Donut 2.0, but I'm not sure if that one's better than this one, we'll just have to see. Let's take a moment to admire this beautiful donut. If you're a Star Wars fan, this is the one for you. This is Baby Yoda. He's very cute looking, a little tooth. And that jacket looks quite comfortable if I do say so myself. This was done pretty much a month later, but um, I still really do like the style. At this point in time, it was getting really close to Halloween, so we were doing a bunch of spooky things. This was specifically for Boys and Girls Club, and we were supposed to paint like a haunted mansion, and I didn't really have any paint. I only had white paint for some reason, and white paint isn't useful if you don't have the other colors. So we just, I just used that for the moon and then I did some like spooky lighting for clouds and stuff. And this is my haunted house. There's a lot of lights going around. Now that looks like a face. Um, a black cat and a witch. Or maybe it's a trick-or-treater. No one will know. This was something that I did on the day of Halloween, and 
it's kind of just a bunch of letters that spell out happy halloween and there's a lot more detail than the eye might see so i used a little trick here um there was a creepy moon here so i just put my signature and the date down happy there's cookies candies a witch hat and a broom pumpkins skulls ghosts and slime and this ghost is i mean i'm pretty sure this ghost is just worried because this pumpkin is like trapping him yeah that's a very cool pumpkin um some kind of crisscross designs polka dots more candy i think i already did candy there in like the center of pumpkins bats flying around spiders basically anything halloweeny and don't ask me who martha is i don't know who she is either I remember being very proud of this one, simply because of this braid. It's actually really hard to draw braids, and especially ones that actually turn out looking dimensional, proportional, you know. But yeah, so I just drew the back of a girl's head, and she's just wearing a shirt with a bear and shoulders, and yeah. As you can see, we're starting to get to the point where I start to not finish most of the drawings. Now this one might look finished, but this is really just a rough sketch. So this was a zodiac sign type drawing, and basically I just drew anything that would be related to my zodiac sign, which is a Virgo. If you're a Virgo, then you're very cool. So we have things that I personally like, and then of course, characteristics of a Virgo, so this is their star constellation, their very well-known symbol, and these are characteristics. This is another very realistic drawing. I'm very proud of this one actually. This is my first good looking eye. So there's some skin color right there. Now I'm actually very basic with colored pencils. I don't have any like crazy shades or anything. I do have crazy shade color pencils but I don't use them simply because I like simplicity and blending colors together. So it took me a while to get the skin color, but I eventually got there. And so, yeah. This is a very realistic looking eye, and has such a piercing gaze. I really like it. Although, I don't know why I didn't write the date. I will never know when I drew this. Next up, you can actually see the imprints of the eye there, and the ones after it. So this is, um, we call it in Vietnamese, Hua Mai. I don't know what it's called in English, but it's a really pretty flower. It's kind of one of those bed flowers, which is basically Chinese New Year. And so we have a bunch of these flowers here. These are very poorly de ah. These are very poorly detailed, but these ones look pretty good. So this is just a branch of them. I don't know what I plan to do with this. I feel like if I finish the branch, it would look really nice. But of course, there's probably a background that needs doing. So yeah. And there's no date on this one because usually I write the date when I finish it. So yeah.
It's anime time. These are some anime sketches. Um, this is a dude, and this is a girl. Some basic anime drawings. And this wasn't drawn actually too far after I drew the last drawing. I honestly like the girl better. The detail is there, and I really do like the style. Although I don't use the style right now. Now this is something for school. I don't think this really matters, but if you want to know about dimensions, here you go. And here's another thing that has like dimensional stuff. These croissants are looking quite delicious though. Um, I was given this prompt by Ava and they're basically just abstract potatoes. I wanted to paint that day really badly, so I just took the chance and drew some potatoes. So I'm actually quite proud of this drawing. I made it quite recently, as you can see. Um, but basically, this guy is just in a hoodie, and he's just tired, I guess. I really like this style. Looks very anime like. Last but definitely not least, here we have a whole panorama of things that bring me joy and comfort. So we have outdoorsy things, we have things that I enjoy doing. And we have people that really bring out the best in me. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.